way to Canadian Tire. I've got to go to the one out in the West End, Hyde Park. After a set of wrenches that I couldn't get the other day. These ones are stubby, so they're short and uh, ratchet. Very handy. I'm in traffic. This is the worst part of London to go through. Uh, well, it could be a little worse. It could be over on Hyde Park Road. That's even crazier. <laughs> this is Wonderland, but this part of town is just nuts. Next time, <laughs> I'll go another way. I wonder where do all these people work to be on the road going home at six o'clock? That's, that's a lot of people on the road. Well, I got uh, my stubby ratcheting wrenches. What a great deal, too. Say they say say skill on them. On the flyer or and online, it says Matco. Matco is a company that makes tools for uh, Canadian Tire and. They have their own brand line as well. The ones that I picked up the other day, the longer wrenches, say Matco on them. Well, these, made by Matco with the skill name on them, have a lifetime warranty. That's, uh, that's interesting. Lifetime warranty for the same tools, different name. <laughs> Okay. What number? Six. Um, ready? Yeah. Oi! There it is. That little thing shoots the pretty good. Really high. Wow. That's a lot of fun. So the girls have eaten. It was too late for me to have supper with them when I got home. I'm making corned beef hash, just like Uncle Wiggly used to make, with real potatoes, real onions, and real corned beef. It's in a can. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be good. Heidi's afraid of corned beef. Jasmine doesn't know about it yet. But when she gets a smell of this, she's gonna be a big corned beef. Lover. Gonna get out in the garage after corned beef. Mm -mm. Got me a big bowl of corned beef hash. Well, I'm out in the garage again, just uh, cleaning up a few things. So I've got everything everywhere stuff here, stuff there. Gotta get things cleaned up before I can do anything. Here's my new uh, stubby ratcheting set. Really happy with that. And here's just to compare it to <laughs> the uh, Ratchetite Max Tech one. <laughs> it's the same manufacturer. The uh, only difference in these are, well, what it says on the outside and the finish. See, this is a little bumpy. And these are not as bumpy. They're a tumbled cleaner type a comparison side by side. So, uh, I'm really happy with them though. That's uh, a great deal. It's $32 for uh, this set. Guarantee for life. Uh, you have a tough time beating that. I'm happy with my new wrenches. I've got to find a place for them in my toolbox. But that's not going to be so hard. I've got a drawer that I don't use other than for wrenches. I've got a couple of these that uh, came with my... These are snap-on ratcheting wrenches. They came with the toolbox. All these tools came with the toolbox, actually. Uh, and uh, so these came with a toolbox. 
I uh, haven't used any of them since I got them. So, they're not going to stick around. I'm uh, going to take a look at, uh, you know, figure out, try and figure out what's making my motor not work properly. Means I need the multimeter, which is in the boat. I'll go get that now. One of the things I have to do before I hit the road with the trailer is grease the wheel bearings. <laughs> Crazy grease. One thing about grease guns is they're typically greasy. So I got looking at my flywheel here. It's got, it's dirty. So I looked on the top of the engine there. I might have a seal. The top seal might be starting to lose its uh, seal. So I'm going to clean this off. And when it's cleaned off, I'll uh, check it again after my little trip. And see if it's dirty on the inside again. If it is, that denotes that uh, I've got a upper seal problem. Which, uh, that's not so bad. That's not a huge, huge thing to change. But I'm going to put this back together now. I've already cleaned up the, uh, the area that goes underneath this. So... Let's uh, put it back together. I'll have to line the keyway up with the key on here. Good enough. That, uh, good enough. I'm gonna check the con or the I guess continuity of my spark plug wires. It's not the right word. So this top one is 0 0.3, 0 0.4. See what the bottom one is. It's 0.4 as well. I don't know if this will tell me anything. So I can't. Well, I think that's okay. Okay. I don't know what's wrong with it, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. If I find uh, that uh, I've got some exhaust or anything around the top here, that means that it's leaking out that seal. So hope, let's hope that that's it, because that's a pretty easy thing to pop out. Put a new seal in. Okay, let's clean up. The other day I was looking for a bolt because I thought I'd lost one. It uh, wouldn't be retrievable. I have the solution now. Box of bolts. 240 piece nut bolt cushion assortment. I don't know what the cushion means. Maybe a cushion for losing them. But uh, that will be handy, I expect. What I've done is I've put my, ow, my ratcheting wrenches here in this top drawer of the bottom box. And I've moved my half inch drive stuff down to there. And I've the 
the pliers right there. And I've moved this one down, which is kind of miscellaneous stuff. Fiberglass shreds in it. Okay. Well, I'm uh, just going to wash up my hands, turn out my light, and uh, head in. Really glad to have that little set. It's going to be really handy. Uh, good. That, uh, that will work out rather well. Somehow I lost the uh, part where I say thanks for watching. Tell your mom, tell her to tell her friends and do the clicky things. Check out the Patreon thing as well. Thanks.